bowls in history, bowl jest, bowl bridges, bowl diddly, but no collection of bowls would be complete without my first guest. Ladies and gentlemen, the ample beauty that is, Bow Derek. <laughs> Lovely, sit down. Isn't she beautiful? <laughs> you know, you. you've got a look of me when I was younger. I can tell you that. It's like looking in a mirror. <laughs> but actually, I have what we call a friend of mine, Bo. But that's on account of her legs, you know. Like, you know, you couldn't, you couldn't stop a pig in an entry if you get my meaning with them, with them legs. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Are you all right? You're good, thank you. Yes. Wonderful. Oh, well, do you know what's funny? We had, we had a season of your films back in England one afternoon, just recently. We had ten. Oh, yes. yes. I'm yes. glad you said that. There are some others I, I hope you didn't see. <laughs> oh, no, I don't think you bothered showing them. Just oh, good. Oh, we, we liked ten, didn't we? With a little Dudley Moore. What was he like? L lovely. Was he? Lovely, yes. They're no trouble when they're that size, are they? <laughs> But did you enjoy making that film? I did very much. You know, I wasn't in it very much. So most of the time I just got to play in Mexico and go to the beach and things mm -hmm. like that. Well, there was that scene, wasn't there? That beach scene. Yes. Where you were running along. Oh, and you looked so graceful. It was lovely. A friend of mine, Lily, when she runs, she has to put one bosom there, one bosom there. <laughs> oh, for safety. For the people's safety. <laughs> 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 Well, we did like, we did like your bosoms in that, didn't we? <laughs> no, we did. Yes, you good. Uh, are your bosoms real? <laughs> yes, actually they are. Uh-huh. That's, ah, so give her a round of applause. <laughs> you see Dorothy there? Now, Dorothy has an ample bosom. Can you see this one here? They're both there in yes, front. Yes, Dorothy, huh? <laughs> And you know when we got to the airport, they stopped her and they asked her if they were real, you see. I think they thought she was smuggling two small boys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. But are you afraid of nudity in films or do you not mind to go nude or naked? Well, I've done it so much, I'm not afraid, no. You um, just peel them all off? Well, no, it's just, to me, it's sort of... Whatever you're doing, the same thing without clothes. It's yes, not. Yes, it's only nature. It only isn't comes it? comes natural, you know, to everybody. But do you know Charles Bronson? I don't know him. Well, he's an actor. He was. Yes, I, I know who he is. <laughs> I've never met him, but I obviously know who. Well, he is. this is what I heard. Apparently, that he drives around America completely naked from the waist down. What do you think no, of that? No, who told you that? I, I think it was Anne there. <laughs> Somebody told me. Somebody told yes. you. Yes. Oh. Can sit on round America. <laughs> okay, I will. But I they will. wouldn't have found out. But I think he got a puncture. Is that how it goes? Yeah. <laughs> he got a puncture and he got out. You know. And that's that's what happened. But you have launched a swimwear range, haven't you? Recently? Yes, I have. Tell us I about have. that. Um, it's my own line. It's called Bo Casa, and it's brand new. We're just starting it, and it should be ready in October. You see Roy there with the hat on. Yes, that's a great hat. It's oh, brilliant. Has it been it? lucky hat for you? Yes, it has actually. It yeah. is now. Yeah. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I fancy that bow like in your hat. But what happened was we were down at the pool bowl the other day, and we all thought Roy was wearing a thong. You know, a thong. Were you wearing a thong? Well, he wasn't. <laughs> What had happened was a bit of knotted string had got, had got wedged up his buttocks. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to picture that? <laughs> but you have just done a film, haven't you? No. No, have you not? Oh, not for I'm sorry about five that, love. years. Yeah, I know. <laughs> the one you Soon I, I have to, yes, <laughs> I have to, of a night. It's time to feed the horses. I have to get back to work. But I think I'm going to do a television series this, this summer. You know, the Wigan women, those three, put your hands up, the Wigan women. Them three, they're horse mad. <laughs> Never out of the bookies, are you? <laughs> no, I'm not interested in horses at all. Not at all. Well, I, I never liked to put my, my 
feet in stirrups unless the doctor present, do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but you're married, aren't you, to quite a, an old bloke. <laughs> Yes, I've been married 20 years now Lovely. to John Derrick. And tell me this, has he still got all his, his faculties? <laughs> he, has, he has them all. He Lovely. has all his faculties. He's uh, still extremely handsome and, and virile. It, and I heard that he was um, a, lo a lollipop man in L.A. Is that true? <laughs> he was a, a lollipop man. What's a lollipop <laughs> man? <laughs> what it is, when people get to a certain age in Britain, uh, if they want, they can become lollipop men. <laughs> no, he's not one of them. Your husband. I don't think so. No. How old is he exactly? Seventy. Oh, give him a round of applause. <laughs> okay. You're happily married. Twenty years. And what's the secret? Would you say? Oh, it was meant to be. It, it was just meant to be because everything was against it, our age difference, and uh, he's very difficult. Is he? Can oh, grumpy. Oh, <laughs> terrible. Is it? Opinionated, hot-tempered. Oh. And uh, so it was just meant to be because it was, it was very difficult in the beginning. And now it's fine. Now it's fine. No, it's still difficult. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes that's good. Better than getting old and predictable. Yes, yeah. Well, you know Bernard? Where's Bernard? He's 82. That's right. Who is? There, yes. 82. Well done. I could be predictable with you, though. Who'd <laughs> <laughs> well like to ask Bo Derek a question? Who'd like to ask Bo a question? Let me see. Jimmy, what would you like to ask Bo? Have you drawn the line now with uh, taking your clothes off in films? <laughs> <laughs> drawn the line with taking my clothes off? Well, it gets harder, you know. But I think you know. Hold in your stomach. <laughs> to hold in your I think stomach. That's what, uh... <laughs> no, who knows? Who knows? What about Harold? What would you like to ask Paul? Well, uh, I'd just like to make a statement. You are as beautiful as I thought you would be. <laughs> And uh, it's a pleasure to see you, but being of my age, and Mrs. Merton being more of my age, she is the type that I really go for. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> is that true? Is that true? <laughs> Just the Americans, full of it, aren't they? <laughs> Roy, what would you like to ask Paul? Well, it's not a question, it's a compliment. <laughs> I think you're a beautiful person, and I think you're a fantastic actress, and I think you're a legend in your own lifetime, and I think you should be appreciated. Oh, <laughs> Well, I couldn't have put it better myself. Ladies and gentlemen, Bo Derek.